Okay, so I owe you this video because we upgraded the sound on our BRZ and we put in kind of a temporary subwoofer. And I told you that I had a, a better solution coming. And this uh, I purchased on eBay from an overseas seller. And I got the information from uh, one of the guys on the forum that had done an install with the same subwoofer enclosure. And we're gonna take a look at this and we're gonna put it in the car and hopefully we'll free up a lot of space in the trunk. So let's take a look. All right, so after about 10 minutes of trying to remove that plastic, here we go. The packing was really good. So if you can see what we got going on here, you already have the terminals, everything's mounted. This is a lot of uh, workmanship here. You can see all the glue with the layers of wood here to build out this part. Pretty clever the way they did that. The carpet is really high quality the way they adhered it. So you've got the spades in here. This is, uh, this is pretty impressive. I'm going to have links in the video where I got this. I don't know how long you can get this for. I don't know who the seller is. Uh, I'm not, I may not even like this product by the end of the video, but right now, pretty impressed. Um, and if you haven't seen the first video, which got us to this point, I'll put a link in the description as well. Okay, so this is a cutout for a 10 inch sub and we're going to use this Rockford Fosgate. This is um, a dual 4 ohm voice coil and I'm going to wire it so that it's an 8 ohm load on the amp. And you know, a lot of people would be like, well why are you doing that? The output's going to be lower, blah blah blah. Uh, the advantage is going to be that I won't have to run a dedicated power wire to the amp. I'm going to try it. Um, I think the output is going to be fine. I mean, I can, I can step up the output with the amp and get it to, you know, where we want to be so that we're balanced. Um, but like I said, the benefit will be I'm going to draw much less power out of the amp. So the draw on the, um, the input power will be less. And that way I can just use the OEM power wire the way I did at, in that previous video. So, um, and then, you know, if I'm unhappy, I can always change it, but that's what we're doing here. So let me mount this sub in here. Um, I won't bore you with the details, but basically I'm just running wires from these terminals to the, um, voice coil terminals and it'll be wired for 8 ohms. All right, just real quick, I soldered uh, my wires onto those lugs. If you don't have a soldering iron, I could have loosened those, looks like maybe 8 millimeter nuts there and could have just wound the wire around that. Um, this is 16 gauge wire, which, you know, some people might think, oh, that's not enough. But keep in mind, we're not entering shows with this sound system we're just gonna add more thump to the OEM setup and really we're not running that much power um, and we're gonna get the volume will be fine the car is small and uh, it's and we want it balanced we don't want it bass heavy anyway so should be fine all right real quick here's the sub and You've got two voice coils here and down here, and my hand's probably blocking it, but what I've got is a wire running from the negative of one to the positive of the other. Okay, so that's putting them in series. Each one's four ohm, so when you put in series, you add them, four plus four, I've got eight ohm load now, which will uh, the amp will see. All right, we're wiring here. I've got my positive, which goes to this voice coil. And 
and negative goes to the other. All right, so now we can place the speaker in the cutout. All right, that's nice. And really it's even recessed down. Over here it's still a little raised. So it's kind of like you have to shoehorn this thing in. Wow. It's actually like a perfect fit with this sub. I didn't expect that. That's like, you can see it's pretty, pretty uniform all the way around. It's actually perfect. And I'll just drill, use a drill driver to drive in those wood screws to hold it. And then we'll mount it in the car. All right, we have a lot of these screws we have to put in. So I'm just gonna make a little pilot hole uh, just to make it easier when I get to the... Alright, Rock Rockford Fosgate gives us all these screws and they even give you a bit, which is nice. And you know, these are like a hex head, which is a good thing because you don't want your tool to slide off of the fastener and puncture uh, any part of the driver, you know? So this is. It's pretty thoughtful that they give you this type of a fastener. I'm sure it costs a little more. All right, so we've got it wired from the terminals and back. We've got it fastened, so now it's time to go in the car and prepare to install this. Okay, so I'm in the car looking out the trunk, and here's where I wanna put one of my U-nuts. That's one of these. I wanna slide it on, so now I've got a threaded nut behind this hole. Um, you can't see it here, but I've got to actually make a bend to the metal so I can slide this on. Uh, I'll see if I can get a better angle. All right, here's a better angle. Uh, yeah, do you see it? There's this little ridge here. I'm going to bend that straight up, and then I can slide my U-nut on. Okay, I know the light is tough, but... You can see the U-nut on it, and you can see right there, I can now put a threaded bolt right on there, see? Alright, so we got our U-nut here, and now I'm going to put the next U-nut right here. Okay, just want to show you, I'm, I'm going to put this pigtail back on. I used this on the other sub. That sub was um, kind of portable, you know. It was made to just unfasten and remove. And this is more of a fixed sort of setup, but uh, I am going to make it so that if we need to remove it, it'll be easy enough. And so I'm going to put that pigtail on. And that'll go into this piece which is wired to the amp okay everything's going to be behind here okay rugs back in maybe i should vacuum this right before i put the sub in all right subwoofer is in place and 
I've got an L bracket here that's fastened to the U-nut and I'm just gonna put a little wood screw here to fasten this end of it. Okay, so we're done at this end, we'll go the other end. All right, finished product here. Um, here's another bracket. I just bent that into an L shape and uh, we got a knob here so that we can do kind of a easy removal without tools and I want to do that at the other end so I probably need like a T-nut to go into the box or like a threaded insert and that way I can put a knob on that. So then two knobs and then that quick connect on the wiring. So I don't think we're going to remove it a lot but be nice just to have the ability to do it without tools. Um, again, this qua the quality of the box is really impressive. And uh, I was listening to it last night. Really sounds good, punchy, and happy. Really uh, seems like a good deal for the money. And I want to thank um, a forum poster, Daily86, on the FT86 Club Forum because he actually posted about this box and he had an install in one of his threads and basically gave me the idea to do this and he brainstormed all of this fastening stuff anyway so it was really easy to do this so anyway shout out to him and hopefully this helps everybody